Hey guys, today we are going to check out how to make WCA, which is water soluble calcium. And we're going to use eggs to do it. I've shown how to do it in a different video with coral sand. Today we're going to do it with eggs. So, first, what you need is a bunch of eggshells. You don't really have to prepare them anyway. A nice hot fire and a pan. So go ahead and crush your eggshells and throw them in. <laughs> and the key is to cook them to a very specific point when they are charred. So what will happen is they'll get extremely brittle, slightly brown, and uh, that's when we know we're done. So I'm going to crush these all up and we're going to go ahead and um, cook them to that very specific point. When we get to the end, I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So in the nutrient cycle, the calcium is really good after fruiting or once your plant has already begun to fruit. And um, that's when we apply calcium. And then we gotta smash them so that um, they evenly cook. So just as you go, they get smaller and smaller. And that actually helps with surface area when we apply them to um, vinegar, which will be the next step. Now this just takes a bunch of time um, for them to fully heat and cook. We can shut the lid and they can kind of bake cook. Alright, so eggshells have a little membrane on the inside and you don't want that membrane when you add this to vinegar, which is the next step. So you could take the time to meticulously take off the membrane of every eggshell before you start or what uh, a lot of us prefer to do is to deal with it once it starts to cook. So you can either fan it and by fanning it you see all the little particles start to fly out and so that's that's one way to do it and all your um, membrane stuff will fly out and you can just move it around and as you're doing it cause it all to fly out or you could do it the the chef way and you can um, you can cause all the membrane to come out that way. Oops, don't lose eggshells though. So that works a little easier with a smaller pan where you can do the, the omelet flip. So those are the two ways to get rid of your the membrane. You can fan it and cause it all to fly out or you can um, shake it as you cook. And the, the more towards cooked it gets, the easier and lighter the membrane um, the, e the lighter the membrane becomes and the easier it is for it to flip out. So that wow. is something you want to do as you cook because you don't want um, those to go into your vinegar stage. And that is it. Away we go. Continuing to cook. We're about halfway done. You can see that the um, material here is getting a little bit darker. Some browning is happening on the white shells. As we grilled the eggs, it became time for lunch. So we're uh, got a dual purpose uh, surface going on here. The eggs are almost done. Make sure you have plenty of propane if you do it over propane. As all the organic matter gets used up and they get really close to being done, you just gotta make sure to move con constantly because as they run out of um, organic matter and get really close, they will burn easier. So go ahead and 
keep it moving right at the end especially and uh, as they're all darkening now and really close to being done so we're almost finished so we are off the grill and all of the shells have brown. There's no all white shells left. We started with some brown shells anyway. But everything has that patina and has gotten really brittle, easy to break. And uh, now we're ready for adding vinegar and uh, watching that reaction. All my eggshells are nice and cooked, um, thoroughly charred. And I want about one part eggshells to about 10 parts vinegar. So here I have about a half inch in a gallon. Um, I could use slightly more. This is about right for this quantity. Um, one to 10. So you get the idea. You can do an exact measurement. You could divide with with measurements your jar up into lines approximately one part eggshells to ten part vinegar and then go ahead and pour it in you don't necessarily want to pour it in all at once super fast just in case you get a whole lot of bubbling so give it a pour and then if the bubbling is too much um, maybe just be careful as you approach the top And then the eggshells will thoroughly react with the vinegar. You can see the bubbling taking place, eggshells shooting up and coming down. And this will occur a ton for the first few days. Your eggshells rising and falling. And you want to leave this to sit and react for at least five days, seven preferably, and there's nothing wrong with leaving it for 10 days. Um, leaving it longer with WCA does not hurt the process at all. Um, my pan wasn't perfectly clean when I did this one, so I had a little bit of leftover breakfast, and uh, that's some of the brown or dark you see on the top. But you see the bubbles, they're going nuts. That is the chemical reaction of calcium with vinegar. And if it's not reacting like this, if you're not getting those eggshells moving up and down and bubbling, then you haven't cooked it enough. All right, once you have all your vinegar in, you can kind of shake it back and forth to get it evenly distributed along the bottom, um, just to maximize the surface area. Give it a cover. You can use a paper towel or some rice paper. I'm using a compost or a row cover called Agrabon. I like it, keeps the bugs out and then give it an end date just in case you forget and you get to be doing something. WCA, today's the 12th, and I'll call this finished on the 22nd. Give it that full 10 days. And that is how to WCA. Hey guys, here we are at extraction day for WCA. It's been 10 days. You can extract after five days, but really there's nothing wrong with leaving this a little bit longer because all that will happen is you'll get slightly more calcium diffusing into that vinegar over time. So leaving it 10 days is almost always what I do because um, there's no downside to leaving it a little longer 
and there is a possible upside of just a further saturation of your vinegar with the calcium. Um, all right, so now that it's finished, it's super simple. Get your funnel, your strainer, and your clean container. And pour away. Don't throw away your eggshells. Eggshells are a great additive to your soil or your worm bin. So save those, spread them under your plants. Um, nothing wrong with using it as a soil additive. But this material, this WCA, is a highly available um, treatment you can use as a foliar application. And it's really um, gentle to your plants so you don't have to worry about uh, burning or anything weird like you would if you had a chemical fertilizer. WCA is shelf stable so you can um, if you used a non-living vinegar like a store-bought brown rice vinegar you can put the lid on and that's good forever. That doesn't go bad um, you can leave that. Um, if you use a living vinegar that you made yourself, um, you may want to leave with a breathable lid, but it'll still be pretty, pretty good and shelf stable. So if you need to close it, it should be fine. Um, we use WCA at a rate of one to a thousand. It's in a ton of recipes. I'll get into that in another video. Thanks for watching how to make WCA. We'll see you later.